India has successfully put a satellite into orbit around Mars, becoming the fourth country to do so. The Mengelian robotic probe, one of the cheapest interplanetary missions ever, will soon begin work studying the red planet's atmosphere. A 24-minute engine burn slowed the probe down enough to allow it to be captured by Mars gravity. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the country had achieved the near impossible. Speaking at the Mission Control Center in the southern city of Bangalore he said, the odds were stacked against us. Of 51 missions attempted in world only 21 have succeeded. We have prevailed. Only the US, Europe and Russia have previously sent missions to Mars, but India is the first country to succeed on its first attempt. The latest US satellite, MAVEN, arrived at Mars on Monday. U.S. Space Agency NASA congratulated its Indian counterpart, the Indian Space and Research Organization, ISRO, on Wednesday's success. We congratulate at ISRO for its Mars arrival. At Mars Orbiter joins the missions studying the red planet, the agency tweeted. From early in the morning, there was an atmosphere of excitement and tension at the Indian Space Agency's mission tracking center in Bangalore. Scientists Many of them women and several of them young, were seated in front of their computer monitors tracking the progress of Mangaline. Giant screens above their heads fed a steady stream of data, graphics and sequence of operations. The first whoop spoke out when Mangaline successfully fired up its liquid engine, the first in a series of critical moves to make sure that the spacecraft was able to launch into the planet's gravitational pull. Then there was an agonizing 20 minutes when Mangaline disappeared behind Mars and beyond contact. But there was no mistaking the moment, when the scientists all rose as one, cheered, clapped, hugged each other and exchanged high fives, confirmation that Mangaline was now on an elliptical orbit around Mars. After PM Modi's congratulations, they poured out into the open in the bright sunlight, beaming as they took in the adulation. Thrilled to be a part of history, one young scientist told me. It's like hitting a golf ball from Bangalore to London and getting it into the hole in one go, Deputy Operations Director, B.N. Ramkrishna said.